this is Beth McKinney for facepaint.com. Today we're going to do a review of the Party Explosion face paint. So I have three colors here which we're going to try out. I have black, red, and white, and I've sprayed some water on here already. So I'm going to use the white and show you how it covers when you're doing sponge work. I thought it looked pretty good for that and it gave me really good coverage. Um, Party Explosion reminded me quite a bit of Wolf or Diamond Effects in the way it felt on the skin and also on the way it went on. Uh, I felt I had really good coverage and it was fairly comfortable. And now we're going to do a little line work. So you can see what kind of teardrops we get. Got a lot of water on there right now. felt like it worked pretty well. If I wanted to do a swirl, I could do that. And the next color we're going to try out is the red. And I'm going to put a little bit of water on my sponge. And red is something we use a lot for Spider-Man masks, Spidey, or you might use it in tigers. A lot of good uses for it. It's a nice red. It's a little bit of a cool red. Use this brush. Again, really good coverage for that. Not too pink. It, it's not really a very warm red, though. I think it's more of a cool red. So if you tend more towards that, you'll like this color. It's a nice vivid red. Really strong pigment. So, and finally, we're going to do a little bit of line work with it. I like to spin my brush to get a point before I work with it. I'm going to be doing teardrops. You can see we've got some beautiful line work there. Put my finger right in that other. So it looks pretty good. Uh, something that uh, some colors tend to smear a little bit more, some brands, some brands are more durable. Usually those that have more of a wax base tend to be a little more durable. I'm going to let my hand dry a little bit. But I want to go back to my white and see how, so, see how well it holds up if I were to give it a smudging test. And it really it stays on the skin. This one wasn't dry, which is why it went, but the other ones, they're not going anywhere. This stuff is still wet, but where I sponged is dry, so I can go across that. And again, it's not very, very mild smearing, if any at all. So this stuff is pretty durable for when you're at events, which is good to know during the summer. I'm also going to go over the red with a little bit of white to see how well the white goes over another color. Since it's dry, I can do that now. You always have to wait for the bottom color to dry before you go over it with your top color. Otherwise, it's just going to bleed right through. So, Red is a hard one to go over anyway, but not too bad. If I have to go back over it again, to clean my brush. You can see how that looks. Okay, and finally, we're going to take a look at the black. Normally, I don't sponge black. Um, like, if I have to do a Darth Vader, I'll use a brush to put the black paint on. But in this case, some of you may actually use a sponge for black, so we're going to go ahead and use the sponge. So you can see how it goes on with a sponge as well. And as you can see, you get a nice coverage, works great blends pretty well as long as you're quick to do it when it's actually damp. You can try blending it. So I, the colors I have aren't the kind you would normally blend together. Probably wouldn't blend red and black, but if you did, they blend pretty well. Now I'm going to try it with my brush, which is what I would be much more likely to use. 
for black. And again, we get excellent coverage, which is what you're looking for with the black. I have three different blacks that I use in my kit. I use a good lining black. I use a softer black like Paradise Black for shadows. And also when I'm doing the Darth Vader faces, I'll usually use Paradise and um, Tag. It's a little bit of water on there, tiny bit. Um, I use the Tag Pearl Black if I want a little bit of a sheen to it. So those are my three main blacks. So the, the lining black can be anything. It could be Party Explosion. It could be um, Diamond Effects. could be black. Those all work really well for lining. Let me put my finger right in that. So I'm going to do some teardrops. So again, you can see the line work. It's very crisp, very clean. A little bit on this side of my arm too. Swirl, get a nice point. So I'd say it's a great lining black. I like it really well. It, it compares very much to Diamond Effects or Wolf. So it's very similar. And again, this is dry now so we can try smearing it and it's not really smearing unless you really really try you can get a very faint smear. Um, the red came off very well it didn't have staining so again if you soap it really well wash it, it usually comes off great so these colors aren't likely to stain. Thanks for joining me today I hope that it helped you get to know the Party Explosion face paints a little bit better and decide if they are a good fit for you and your business Please subscribe if you'd like to see more of our tutorials and videos, and leave a comment below if you have anything you'd like to hear a little bit more about. We'd like to hear from you. Bye-bye!